Here is why I believe Gable Steveson is one of WWE's biggest failures. In 2020, during the Summer Olympics, Gable Steveson won the gold medal in the men's freestyle wrestling competition and also stated that he wanted to become a WWE superstar. This sparked a lot of attention on social media as there had only been one other occasion where an Olympic gold medalist had become a WWE wrestler, that being Kurt Angle. So WWE took advantage of this media attention in their attempt to create the next Kurt Angle, something they easily could have done with another Gable they already have on their roster. How unfortunate for what ends up happening instead. Gable Steveson first appeared at SummerSlam in 2021 and later signed a contract with WWE the following month. The contract in which he signed was part of WWE's new Next In Line Association to allow college athletes to get a chance at competing for a shot at the contract. But in the case of Gable Steveson, they skipped over the actual NIL treatment and shot him straight to the main roster. In October of 2021, during the WWE draft, Gable was officially drafted to the Monday Night Raw brand despite never competing in a single WWE match or being part of the NXT brand. This, in part, was to continue the hype that the company had found their next Kurt Angle. But unfortunately, Gable never made a single appearance on Raw throughout 2021 and was almost instantly forgotten of. Reason for this was because he went straight back to college and continued to wrestle there, which made the whole deal of his drafting to the main roster utterly pointless. It wasn't until WrestleMania 38 where he was reintroduced by Stephanie McMahon during Night 1 and then briefly stepped into the ring during Night 2. He hit a single suplex on Chad Gable following the opening match, which made many of us figure that the two Gables were going to start a post-WrestleMania feud with one another. This never ended up happening, and Gable Steveson was once again completely forgotten of by both the company and the fans. Gable made his next appearance in December of 2022, literally freaking December, on SmackDown to celebrate the birthday of Kurt Angle because WWE was once again reminding the fans that Gable was to be the next Kurt Angle. But by this point, nobody even cared anymore because they ended up waiting way too long for Gable to do anything. And if Gable was not ready to to compete on the WWE roster, then I once again bring up what the point of his drafting was over a year prior. After that appearance, Gable was once again forgotten of until June of 2023. Gable's older brother, Damon Kemp, was already making impacts down in NXT. Not as much impact as one would think, but even the minor stuff he did was already more than the gold medalist ever did. Gable ended up being signed to the NXT brand full time or so we were told. And then finally, he was challenged to an actual match from Baron Corbin for the Great American Bash event at the end of July. This was three years after Gable Steveson's name first went viral and two years after he was drafted to the Raw brand, which of course was a fail from the get-go. But now, after all this time, we were finally gonna be gifted with Gable Steveson's in-ring debut as a professional wrestler and I personally found it fitting that Gable's first opponent was Baron Corbin, the guy who retired Kurt Angle, who the company was trying to turn Gable into. At the Great American Bash, Gable Steveson stepped into the ring with Baron. The match lasted only six minutes, majority of which was Gable getting his ass handed to him, not to mention the crowd completely rejected the Olympic gold medalist with chance for Corbin, and most notably, you're not Angle. It's obvious that the crowd knew that there could only be one Kurt Angle, and trying to turn someone into the next version of the legend was flat out insulting. There was no winner due to both men getting counted out, and that was it. After the failed match, Gable Steveson once again disappeared from WWE television despite now being an active competitor on the NXT roster. And as of this video, we still have not heard from him after that match nearly two months ago and his future with the company is in question. Jumping the gun on the hype to this man and then failing to deliver for over two years is why Gable Steveson is one of WWE's biggest failures. Do you agree with this? What is your thoughts on how WWE promoted Gable Steveson since 2021? And what would you have done differently? Don't forget to subscribe for more content, click the join button to become a channel member, and give me your input on what other types of content you'd like to see. Britney!